Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about disabling that complex password requirement. Regardless, if you're trying to disable the password complexity policy for Server 2012, Server 2016, or Server 2019, the procedure is the same across all three. To begin this process, go to your Server Manager, from Server Manager, go to Tools, and then you're going to open up your Group Policy Management. Go ahead and make this full screen. Go ahead and expand the name of your forest. Then go ahead and expand the, your domains container and the name of your domain. The password policy for your domain is located inside of the default domain policy. So go ahead, right click on it, and let's go to Edit. Let's go full screen. Under Computer Configuration, expand your Policies container. Now click on Windows Settings and expand that. Now, let's go ahead and move this over just a little bit. Let's go ahead and click on Security Settings. And from here, you got your Account Policies. Go ahead and expand that. And now you can go ahead and click on where it says Password Policy. From the right window pane, find the Password Must Meet Complexity Requirements. Double click it. From here, you're going to select the radio button that says Disabled. Now, if you would like more information about what it is you're actually disabling, you can go on over here to the Explain tab. It'll tell you everything that you're getting rid of as far as having a complex password requirement. Go ahead and click Apply. Click OK. While you're up inside of this password policy, you might want to take a look at some of the other settings that you can change, such as changing the password every 42 days may not be something you're comfortable with. You may want to change it every 180 days or every 90 days. But 42 days is actually pretty short. And if you have a good password, there's no need to change it. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, has come out with a brand new policy for passwords and it's completely changed the way we think about having a complex password policy or the need for one. This domain policy will affect all the computers in the domain. And that's going to conclude our video presentation on how we go about disabling the need for a complex password policy up inside of our Windows Server 2012, Server 2016, or Server 2019. So if you have any concerns or questions about any of the material that was covered in this short video presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.